This is Boss's top of the line ATV speaker as we talk today, 2020. If you're gonna review any speaker, this is the speaker review. We are gonna cover all the other speakers they have. It's gonna take a while. We're gonna do the next few in the next couple of videos, so in the next few weeks. Um, but they have a dozen models. So we have four of them right now. So we're gonna start with this guy and we're gonna work our way through the other models over the next couple of weeks. Remember, hit the subscribe and the bell button when you like to get notified. With the Boss, you do get a really nice user manual. It's done up really well. Of course, you can go through all the features. It's pretty straightforward, which is what we're really gonna talk about today. You get a cool sticker in the box, by the way. Warranty card and all that kind of stuff. It does come to one year warranty, depending on where you live. If we move up and look at all the individual accessories, we are going to start. These are the handlebar connectors, and you'll see where that goes in a second. You get the sponge and rubber grips. That's for these guys here, so this way you get a good bite on the wheel. If you want to put it on the dash, you're going to get an actual dash adapter bracket. Again, this is all for the controller itself. Nuts and bolt hardware, so this way you can connect it to everything you need, and that's in reference to the actual accessories. It comes with a lighter adapter socket. So if your ATV or whatever you're planning on hooking it up to does not have a lighter adapter accessory attachment, they're gonna give you one. It also has four straps with it. And I'm gonna show you on the actual unit how these straps get mounted on. Uh, it's really nice. If you do it well, it does a great job. They give you an adapter cable. This adapter cable is 3.5 to 3.5. They give you a handheld remote control for the lights themselves. So we'll show how that works today. The ring adapter is, by the way, for the actual remote control. Then we have the actual full-on Bluetooth audio interface remote control that's plugged directly into the unit. So this way, this is going to be able to control everything for you. You can skip through the songs, Bluetooth, control the, the main light on the front, plus, of course, play and pause. So we'll cover all of that along with everything that you see here, which again is the ATV 95 L. R G B. We review a lot of audio equipment here. Uh, mostly it's big power audio, but this is one of the novelty things I like to sell. I call it my garden center. It's a, something a seasonally I sell and we buy a lot of them. We sell a lot of them because people like to buy them. And why do they like to buy them? This particular one here, very popular, double eight inch RGB lights, which you can turn off or have in any different color arrangement you want. So if you want to dim them down, I'll show you how to do that. It's great. It comes with a remote just for that. It also has two tweeters up here. So instead of putting the tweeters down the center, which if you're on an ATV would basically mean, you know, uh, stomach, chest height, that sort of thing. That's where all the highs would be going. You're not going to hear a lot of detail riding the actual ATV. They put them up here. By putting them up here, the sound comes more directional right to you much, much better. You feel this, you hear this. So that's why they set it up this way. Really, really nice. Now you notice this isn't a traditional design. I mean, these things have been round tubes kind of thing all set up. This unit's all built out of angles and really it's to make it a lot stronger and a lot easier to connect to what you want as a ride. Uh, so that's a real important thing. Outside of that, it's got a hidden compartment. So you got somewhere to put your stuff in as well. Um, built in amplifier. They have it listed at 700 watts. I know other companies have higher numbers and all that kind of stuff, but don't get all tied up around the wattage. It is stupid loud. It's, uh, you know, for something that's gonna run off the battery and off the alternate, off your ATV, this is gonna do an amazing job. And out of all the models, it does peak out at probably the loudest. The other model that comes pretty much lined up power-wise to this one would be the ATV 85B, which doesn't have lights on it more reasonably priced, but does have the same power output as what you're seeing here. This one here, we're gonna look at the light bar in the front, see how much of an extra that is for you, cause that is an awesome light bar. Now, as for the accessories go, like I was showing you earlier, it comes complete. Everything you're gonna need is part of this package. Uh, the straps especially, where the other ones you kind of strap around it and go through it, this particular one has a different way of setting it up. Uh, they give you a loop pass through in the front they also give you two on each side. So that allows you to actually feed the strap under and down and wrap around the side. Uh, makes it a lot easier to install. It also gives you a lot more accessibility uh, to getting around the equipment. 
So it's a Velcro system. So again, all I need to do is just, well, squeeze down and it's stuck now. It's all Velcro together. There you go. Uh, you can simply feed this through one of the loops, set it around your basket, your fender, whatever you've got that's going to give you a good solid attachment and you've done it. This actual unit will just pass through, connect on to whatever you want and you'll be all set. Feed all four of them. If you need two on the side and one in the front, well then you've got a spare, that sort of thing. Easy enough to use. It's not to be complicated, but it is to give you a real nice finish and a real solid secure attachment to the ATV. So there you go. Uh, it also helps people if they're using this in a quad, if they need to secure it up, that's a, a real important thing. So you have four attachments, two on each side, one in the front. From the top looking down, you've got a compartment, somewhere to put your stuff. That includes your phone, you can put it right in there. It even gives you a USB port so you can charge it, keep it powered up while it's in here. Uh, I think that's a great feature. Somewhere safe to put your wallet and all that kind of stuff when you're out and about. That's a big plus. So here's the actual light test. So what I've done is put a cardboard up there and that cardboard is about four to five feet away. When I hit this button, bam, that's what we get for the actual light bar on the front of the unit. So to actually see the light bar, we'll take a look at it from the other side. So this is definitely what we're talking about for a light bar right across the whole front of the unit. Gives us a huge bar, all LED of course. So let's take a quick look at all the different lights because to be honest, this is nice for a party, but who would want to have flashing lights in front of your face when you're driving? So you're going to hit the mode button and the mode button will let you change between different styles. You can choose to have a solid color and if I keep pressing that color button, it'll change through all the different colors. You find what you want. Remember there's different modes. You got a whole ton of different settings to the actual unit. So this way you can pick what's right and the one you like to have and uh, not worry about it after that. Once you find the actual mode or the color that you want to use, you have a choice. You can either brighten it up or you can dim it down. But then you say, well, what? I don't want the lights on at all. We'll just hit the off button. No more lights. And remember to control the actual light button that you see on the headlight itself. So for the main light on the front, that's actually on the main control. You just hit that button. So it's on your handlebar. You can turn that on and off at any time just by doing that. So let's talk about the main controller now. So this is very important. So you can put your phone away in the actual glove box, safe and secure. After you've paired off to it, all you need to do is use the actual control. Big buttons, but you can see my thumb size. Skip songs, you don't like what you have. Pull back if you want. If I hold this button down or hold this button up, you're going to be able to turn up and down the volume on the actual unit. Play pause is the same functionality here. And then again, if I want to pair off to it once I get on the actual ATV, I can hit that button right there. It's that simple. On the back side, you've got your locking clip connector on it. So this way you can mount it either on the dash or on the handlebar, depending on how you're going to use it. This little tail here that you can cap off, this is for a 3.5. So if you don't want to use Bluetooth, you have some other system you want to plug into or plug run into this system, you can do that here, which is why they even give you an adapter cable for it. Now this remember does detach. So you can pull this apart from here, just like that. It's very important that you actually line these two up properly. So there is a plastic notch to line it up. Make sure they're lined up. There's arrows on top of the unit. Make sure they're lined up. Do not twist or turn. Just push them together nice and solid like that. That gives you a tight fit connection. No worries. And that's what they're going on about on both sides here. They're giving you caution stickers. Make sure you line it, push it in properly, and it all is going to work for you. And that's pretty much it for this. The cord is about six feet long for the uh, control box and it's about six feet long for the power connection. The box itself is made out of a solid piece of plastic material. Uh, again, because of all the different designs and angles that they put into the actual unit, it's very, very solid. I'd be quite impressed to see this get damaged if you basically rolled your ATV onto its side or if you got it upside down altogether. Is it waterproof? Would I put it in a swimming pool? No. If splash proof, impact proof, all of that, I'm going to say yes. That's a, that's a big thumbs up on that one. But again, this is their top end piece. So if you're curious about the price, because we don't put prices on our YouTube videos, have a look down at the links down below. We do have links for both our website, Boss's website, 
Plus, we also include the Amazon links as well. So depending on where you live in Canada or US or anywhere else, you'll be able to hopefully find the right link. Now remember our links are affiliate links. So that means if you use our links and you do decide to purchase one, we do get slightly compensated by the manufacturers for that. This isn't a sponsored video. Those are just how links work.